Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hollow out your 3D resin prints and also why you may want to hollow your 3D resin prints. So first things first, what is the process of hollowing and why would you even want to do it in the first place? Well essentially it's exactly what it says. Hollowing is the process in which you tell your slicing software to not leave the inside of your figure completely solid. Instead, you only want it to print the outer walls with the same amount of detail that it would have if it were solid, but inside the figure is a big hollowed out cavern. If you were inside there, you can probably yell and hear an echo. So why would you even want to hollow out your prints in the first place? Well, the biggest reason is saving resin, which also translates into saving money. When you hollow out your prints, you save a tremendous amount of resin. You can find yourself using 50% less or more resin than you would have if you printed your figure solid. And also, as a result, the prints are much lighter, which means there is going to be less of a chance of print failures because there's not as much weight that the build plate has to pull off of the little plastic screen that sits on the bottom of the resin vat. So those are some pretty darn good reasons as to why you would even want to hollow your prints. But like most things in life, it's not all sunshine and roses. There are some cons to that as well. And I'm going to get into the negative sides of hollowing out your prints in a future video. All right. But for right now, we're going to stick to the positive stuff. So now that you know what hollowing out figures is, let me show you exactly how you're able to do that in slicing software. And in this case, I'm going to be using G2Box. So here I am in Chi2 box and I'm going to show you how much resin you can save when you decide to hollow a figure as opposed to keeping it solid. And to do that, I'm going to drag in this bruiser bust figure from Titan Troll Miniatures. Now, this is a figure that you can get if you subscribe to them over on my mini factory for one dollar. And as part of the welcome pack, you'll get this guy as well as a bunch of other miniatures as well. And this is the unsupported version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift him up and turn him around so that you can see him, see him. Take a look at that mug there. And if you didn't wanna do anything with this figure and you just wanted to get him printed, what I would do is I would forgive him a little bit of a tilt right there in front. Go over to the support settings. I leave everything on default and at the medium support setting. And then I'll click plus all and it's going to generate supports right here. As you can see, supports were generated at the bottom of the figure and also threw up a couple of little tiny supports by the ear and one by the nose. It can change from time to time, but pretty much he is good to go. Now, if that's what I wanted to do, I would hit slice. And you can see that this is going to take. 50.90 milliliters of resin to print this guy completely solid. Now, to me, in my machine, any cubic photon mono 4K, that's a decent amount of resin for a single figure. And you can save on that resin if you wanted to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to remove these supports. And I also want to show you if you could print it like this. Let's just say that it would print perfectly just like this. It won't, but let's just say that if it did, it would take 48.67 milliliters to print. So you see that those supports didn't add much as far as the amount of resin that you're going to use. All right, so now let's hollow this guy. To do that, we're going to go up here at the top, this little dropper looking icon here. I'm going to click hollow, and here are some options. Now, I've seen people say, don't use any infill at all. I've seen people say use grid 3D with a little bit of infill. It's different strokes for different folks. See what works best for you. But for this, I am choosing none. Everything on default and start the hollow process. Now, as you can see from the top, it's hollowing it out completely. And this is the type of model that I would prefer to hollow because there's not any additional chambers and stuff where the resin can really like to get in and sort of hide. So now that he's completely hollow, we need to add some drainage holes as well. To do that, we're going to go up here to dig hole. 
Here's the size of the hole. This is five millimeters. The depth is five milliliters, millimeters. You can choose the shape of the hole if you want. I'm gonna leave everything at default. And then you just find a place that's sort of out of the way that you can dig these holes, which in this case, to me, I'm just gonna put it at the bottom because no one can see the bottom. So let's just start digging holes. I'm gonna put a hole here. I can put a hole there. How many holes do you make? However many holes you want more places that resin can get out, the better, right? Sometimes you'll try to dig a hole and it'll tell you that it, it can't do it because it's too deep. Um, so you just sort of move it around and see what works best for you. So here are four holes. They are not spread apart evenly. And I'm just gonna say, hey, let's put, a, let's put another hole right there. So let's say that's what you wanted to do. Let's say you want to do one, two, three, four, five holes in this guy now, and that can be overkill, but this is just an example. They leave these little plugs here if you wanted to save them and then use them to plug those holes back in, but I'm not gonna do that for this example, so I'm just gonna delete all of them except for this bust here. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before. Go over to the supports, hit all, plus all, it generates the supports and they're pretty much going to be in the same spot that they were in before. Only difference is you see the supports are going into the actual figure. I'm going to show you what you could do to alleviate that. But for the sake of this one part here, let's just go over to slice so we can see how much resin we're going to be using this time. 15.83 milliliters of resin. We went from around 50 milliliters down to just under 16, just by hollowing this guy. That is crazy, right? But hey, we don't want these supports here, you know, growing inside of him. So one thing that I found to work, and I don't know if this is the best way, but this is what, this is what I've done to make it work. I'm gonna remove all of these supports here. And what I am going to do now is simply start over. Now I like to start things over from the very beginning so that you know exactly what all the steps can possibly be. So let's just bring him right back here. He is still completely solid. He is not hollow right now. We're starting over. And so what I'm going to do here is just once again, give him a little bit of this tilt upward like that, go over to the supports and then generate these supports. There you go. So the supports are generated just so that you can see he is hollow or he is solid at this point. That's why it's back up to 50 milliliters. So what we're going to do at this point, bring him back a little bit, is I'm going to hollow him right now. Now that the supports are already up there, now I'm going to hollow him. Same defaults as before. Nothing is changing. So it's just going to hollow him out. Do, 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 do. All right. And as you can see, if we deconstruct him, those supports are not on the inside anymore. They're just right there at the bottom where we want them to be. But we still have to dig holes. And this is where it can get a little bit tricky because these supports are just kind of there in the way. And it makes it a little bit difficult to see, but you can still get it done. So let's just add some holes here. So let's say we're going to add a hole there. And let's say we can add a hole here. We're gonna add a hole there. Let's add a hole here. All right, so let's just say four holes. So there's our holes. Going to delete, 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 delete the plugs. All right, and now we can slice them. And 14.55 milliliters of resin for this hollow figure. And he has drain holes so that you can get that IPA and UV lights in there in order to cure the insides. It's risky, but with a figure like this, I find it to be a lot more um, convenient to try to get that resin out. Because as you can see here, it's just one big empty cavity and there's really no other place where that resin can just sort of seep into and kind of get trapped because everything's just one big hollow pit, basically. All right, so that's how much resin that you can save when you decide to hollow out your figures, should you choose to. So you see how much resin I was able to save? It went from 50 milliliters when it was solid to about 14, 15 milliliters once it was all hollowed out. And this 
is the completed print. So he is looking good. And just so you know, I did prime him with gray spray paint because I plan on practicing skin tones on him as I paint. So he's darker than he was when I pulled him out of the printer, but that's all I did. I just primed it. And you see at the bottom are those holes that I made inside of Cheetu box. And what I did in order to make sure that everything was going to be good with the print, I made sure that I dunked him in that IPA several times and swished it around so I can get all of that resin out. But that's going to go into the next video about the downsides of hollowing out your figure. But for now, let's bask in the victory that we do have. So if you want to hollow out your figures, it's especially helpful if those figures are going to be large. I wouldn't do it with minis because you won't really be saving much and since you have to make holes in them and minis are so small anyway you might as well just preserve that weight and preserve all that detail for your minis but for larger things try out the hollowing process and let me know how it works out for you so thank you all so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe so that you can know when the next video drops about the downsides of hollowing your figures as well and things can get pretty bad pretty quick got a couple stories to tell all right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you later.